What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, well, I'm back. All right, I'm back again with my best friend here, Adam. All right, so uh, Adam, MGS yep. uh, five, right? This is considered five, right? The new mm, one. Well, they don't really say five anymore. They just call it Phantom Pain. Okay, they just say uh, we just gonna MGS Phantom Pain is coming out. So uh, we were, I was thinking like Adam, maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's time for a throwback to the series. Mm -hmm. Like I think I think I'm gonna start this new series called Throwback. So it's where we just talk about old games, about how the uh, games have uh changed and all that, uh -huh. especially when it comes to a series type of game. So so uh, I was thinking why not play uh Ground Zero, you yeah. know? Yep. All right. So uh here we go. I'm, 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 I'm here we go. Ground Zero. So Adam, what's your what's your favorite MGS game back back in the day? Favorite was Metal Gear Solid 2 because you never expected the fact that you had to end up playing as Raiden for most of the game. It's a, a real Metal game Gear Solid or oh, that was, uh, that's, that was quite 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 far back, right? No, no, quite far back, pretty far back. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, yep. I don't remember playing MGS One though. Uh, <laughs> M MGS one, oh, that was that was like really far back, from what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Uh. So actually, for for those uh, we are playing yeah Ground Zero. Uh, it was released like last year or two years ago. I think Is about early ago, last year. Or maybe. Early last year. Yeah. yeah. Can't remember. Uh, I actually played the game once. Uh, I. Honestly, uh, no offense to Konami and all, I didn't really like it, but uh, I was like saying, why not, you know? Back, back then, I was like, okay, why not? I mean, back, back then, it was such a cool cool game, you know? I mean, I mean you gotta but, think about uh, it. Uh, Ground Zero was more like a teaser to Phantom Pain, while well, Phantom Pain was still in a uh, process. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, but Ground Zero was not bad. It's actually, I mean, the gameplay and all is uh, is a bit of a change, but it's actually not bad. Yeah, true. It's not re not bad at all. It's a good game. Uh, mm -hmm. um, back uh, my my favorite game back then was uh, not back then. Uh, my favorite MGS game till till this day so far is still the one on PSP. Yeah, you remember Peace Walker? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was that was really good. I think that was my first MGS game. If I'm not wrong, I don't remember playing any MGS game before that. Uh, MGS Peace Walker. It was really good series about uh, he has he has co-op. He has the really um, yeah. It really has the MGS feel. You know, I for a person who has never played MGS, like th uh, I know that that's MGS myself. I mean, really if you feel, if you, you know. know MGS, you gotta know about the stealth in the game, lah. Peace Walker wasn't that much yep. stealth in my opinion, but uh, I mean, I never played the first one. Peace Walker uh, was a lot of action. Yeah, it's a lot of action. So I never played the first one, but mm -hmm. you know, uh, the second one I never had the game itself. But I had a cousin who plays the game, you know. And once in a while, I mm -hmm. play. And the fact that uh, I know you would think you wanted to play as Solid Snake or anything, you ended up playing as Raiden instead. So it was a big change. Yeah, yeah. But most was, MGS cool. games are very stealth based kind of game. It's like playing Splinter Cell kind of thing. Uh, but a lot of yeah, just, uh, yeah, uh, yeah true, true. A lot, a, a lot more shit as well, other than Splinter. Splinter Cell is very yep. linear. Mm -hmm. uh, Splinter Cell is just a normal uh, linear story, but linear for, I think for like... Style of stealth game. For, yeah. I think... Yeah, yeah. For MGS, I, I, still, I consider MGS is actually a very good concept for a game. I, I really liked it. So, no doubt about it. I actually uh, I actually plot, plot the Konami for doing it. I actually, well, actually, for Kojima to really spend his time and effort on really making, so making it's amazing this, because yeah, making this uh, a reality, you know? Yeah, and he spends mm. a lot of time and a lot of money on the game, so you gotta expect that it has to be good. And Kojima is very story related, so there's a lot of story behind MGS, anyways. But it's very confusing when the mm. fact that big boss. Is the father of uh, Solid Snake. Pables is the one you get to play Snake. as in Phantom Pain, right? No, you don't get to play as Big wrong. Boss. You get to play as Big Boss. No, you don't get to play as Big I Boss. I think you get to play as Big Boss. Uh, okay, you get uh, to play as, uh, I don't know which of the snakes, but the snakes, the Solid Snake, Liquid Snake and everything, they're mm -hmm. all sons of Big Boss. 
Yeah, but they're yeah, not Big Boss. Big Boss is like the man behind the whole Fox thingy. The big the... man. Yep, yep. Uh, but then, uh, but I, but it's still like a house snake. Yo, do you manage to play the, uh, the the one that straight off from the entire series, but it was still one of the cool games? Uh, Revengeance, Revengeance. is it? Is it Revengeance? No, the, the one we were gonna play is right in the whole game. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yep. I, the one where it has a hack and slash, slash kind of game. Yeah, I played it for a bit, but I didn't play the whole mm. game because it was really different. Uh, never expected it, but uh. It was an okay game in my opinion, but it it has the MGS difficulty, you know, to it. So yep, it's yep. not for sure a waste of time, but it's mostly just a good way to push yourself away from the MGS uh, feel. If you know yep, what I mean. Yep. <laughs> but it's a, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice change, yeah, you know, from everyone like saying, expecting MGS to be very strategic and all that. Mm-hmm. Do you play those those uh back then the there was MGS that was um uh there was like tactical like they it's not really like you know you get to walk around it's an action thing it's like a turn based strategy type I uh, I can't remember but uh, I, don't I forgot remember. which MGS it was I quite far back I don't remember playing any of those so yeah yeah there was there was a few then uh there's also one that that has a comic book type of uh feel. Yeah, that one I remember, but uh, I never played uh, any of those series. So yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I yeah. was I was like thinking that how how does the gameplay work, man? Back then, I was, it was like, do you like control a story or do you like you know uh, play it or is it like a Walking Dead type of feel or something like that? So it was kind of it kind of weirded me out. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit yeah. confusing at times. You know, MGS has always been a confusing game if you try to follow the whole story and everything and there's a lot it branches out quite a lot to many different other things so um, mm-hmm. in my opinion in my experience you know MGSU doesn't really have a very linear mm-hmm. process to the game so yep, yep. It's, it gets a bit confusing at times mm-hmm. so yeah for uh, especially right. for people who are unknown to the game they, they'll get a bit confused first yeah. time around so for yeah for all those newbies out there, MGS is actually um yeah for uh, from beginning it's confusing but I think if you follow the series or if you start at a good point of time I think it's actually not bad. I mean if you for those of you who want to play MGS Phantom Pain, uh, I suggest you play Ground Zero mm-hmm. first because it's a good way to get used to the controls because they're not changing anything mm-hmm. uh, other than they're adding in a co-op system to it. That's about it, uh, really. Yep. True, true, true. Yep. But yeah, Phantom Pain is coming out like about in a few days' time for for us over here back uh, uh back here in beautiful Asia, mm-hmm. uh, in Singapore. But I think I think some of the people already uh got got their hands on it, right? Yeah, uh, some people get there. I heard reviews are flying out. Yeah, really. reviews are flying out. I mean, I mean, of course, the other YouTubers out there they're probably getting the games earlier. Uh, especially in mm-hmm. sure, sure, they sure. got close ties to the series itself. Uh. Other than mm-hmm. that, I'm not so sure. <laughs> so, right now, yeah. this, the reviews I'm, I'm come I'm quite surprised people get uh, get a hold of it. Yeah, really. me too. Um, but based on the reviews, it's kind of mixed right now. Because some people are saying it's bad. Uh, it's not the same anymore, you know, kind of thing. So, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have to true, play true, it for true. ourselves. But uh, I'm not excited for it. I'm not going to play it. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm not mm-hmm. a big MGS fan. I'm, of course, I'm not a big MGS fan. I am a fan, but... I'm not fan enough to say I want to play the game. Uh, that's about it. Mm, yeah. But okay, let's just say from let's say from a point of view of um, let's say someone new who's uh, new to the MGS series, right? Do you think uh, they should start with Phantom Pain or they should start somewhere else? I mean, get both Ground Zeroes. Because I Phantom know Phantom Pain. Pain is not really. Phantom Pain would be a very, get both Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain because if from my experience playing the whole series uh, the series from number two I played number two and I played number four uh, mm-hmm. my main experience is that if you go into the game unprepared you really will screw up in a lot of facets of the game yeah. so I, uh, true, I mean, true, true. For, for those of you who really want to play the game you should really start at uh, Ground Zeroes because it's where you can learn the game learn the process of the game how to use uh, um why you got you how you snake to your advantage? Uh, if not, you just screw up. Uh, basically saying. 
So I mean, if you guys, because <sighs> how easy, how much access will you get to the old games? It depends on whether you got the money and all the, all the systems. You know, other than that, old games are really really hard to get, right? Yeah, now this is very hard. I mean, you. Uh, I mean, I have seen some of the MGS games. It's been the very first one going to about 150 bucks just to buy the game. So sometimes it's not worth mm-hmm. it unless you really want to collect the whole series. But if you're studying for the first time, I would say you know I mean studying for the first time. If you got a PS4 or anything, get get at Ground Zeroes first. Get used to the game. Then when you play, um, when the pain, you'll be used to the controls and you it will. You basically have an idea of how to get the diff- how to play the game completely. You know, uh, it's very sure, 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 sure. it's gonna be very di- difficult for new newcomers. Because there's a lot of sneaking around and everything, and I can tell you one thing's for sure. Yeah, uh, it's a lot, a lot of patience, yeah, right? The game patience. you basically have a lot of patience. If you go in headstrong, you're gonna lose very fast. That's for sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, 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 what? Where do you think um, uh, the Konami has really pushed the limits for MGS? I mean, like, where which game do you think that, oh, this is, uh, MGS has uh, taken to a whole new level? You know? MGS 4. Um, there's a lot MGS of, 4. Yes, there's a lot of new elements within the game itself and everything. Of course, there were old elements and everything, you know, but MGS 4 was where they really changed the game, how you play it and everything. People may not realize it, but there's a lot of changes to the game, game uh, unknown to a lot of people. But uh, it was a good change, I would say. It was a good change. Mm-hmm. True, 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 true. True. It was, uh, it was a, it, it was a different change, you know. Like uh, from people from uh, the expected old Metal Gear and all that. This is really like. Uh, I mean, you go. I think when uh, when games a, change over the years. Yeah. No, we go from top down view to mm. top person view. That's a big difference as well. Alright. It's like went from like straight from Diablo to uh what Gears of War. Kind of, you know, kind of like that. Mm. That that top down view and all that it changes a lot, and that's how, uh, that's how games have changed over the years, you know. And it's amazing, of course. Like uh, I I actually applaud MGS for making this far. I can't believe they actually continue the series until now. I think this is a like a fan favorite for people who played the MGS series. Uh, but I, I they feel actually like went down the road and all that. Also, I think I think this will be the end of the MGS series, uh, with Kojima mm-hmm. leaving and such. Uh, so I really don't know what to say of how the MT MV, MGS series is gonna continue on from now. Mm-hmm. Uh. Do, do, do. I mean, it's a great thing, you know, uh, but I'm just a bit sad. Uh, hopefully, there'll be more MGS to come, but for now, we just have to see, wait and see. Uh, we'll just see based on the how the game goes itself as well. True, true, true. I mean, like, you cannot expect too much from the yeah, MGS. Yeah, you can't series, expect right? I mean, like, too yeah. much from it. They, they, they did the same thing uh, I mean not saying it's a bad thing I mean they did the same thing uh, after years and years and all that but at least you know it actually kept up to the standards for MGS fans yes. you know? uh, but mm. uh, knowing Kojima they changed the game in a lot of ways without us knowing really uh, mm. so that's Kojima for you uh, yeah. I mean there were gameplay assets that nobody knew was going to happen like yeah, yeah, true. But for the fact how you can use uh, the arm to your advantage as well, that's a new feature in the game. Mm-hmm. You know, you saw. Uh, uh, you know, f- uh, for like, um, let's say, uh, f- okay, let's just say for for, uh, okay, let's just uh, uh, we call it like uh for the. For uh new gamers who want to try the MGS series, if you guys want to try it, um, try f- uh you can try Ground Zeroes. Uh, I think uh, for Xbox players is free on the uh for for Gold membership. If you guys want to try it again, uh, it's I think it's quite it should be quite cheap right now. And for those who just uh maybe want to skip Ground Zeroes, head to straight to Phantom Pain. Why not? No, try try Phantom Pain. I mean, we're trying to uh, promote the game here. We're not trying to say down anything. 
the, the other game uh, it says in Phantom Pain that you don't see in Ground Zero is like uh, the fact that you can call your friend every now and then uh, that's a mm. new asset uh, you only see in Phantom Pain itself uh, so yep. I mean really just check it out uh. I mean it depends on your preference basically uh, yep, yep, yeah. across. It's always, it always depends on your preference but uh, I think I think uh, for for people who wants to uh, for for new gamers who who's new to the series and such, I mean, you guys just try the game out, you know. And those who still have their old shit like their old console and such and such, just uh, go try your game out on like uh, what's it called? Um, PS4, uh, Xbox One. Uh, well, I mean, uh, the new the new Fender Paint, yeah, and such. You know, just try it out. I mean, like. You know, you never know you may like it or not. Yeah, for those of you who's never played it and intend to try or whatever, I mean, I mean the best mm. best way for you to try is just try on uh, Ground Zeroes because it's not that expensive. Uh, Phantom Pain is most mm. likely going to be very expensive. Um, uh, but yeah, unless you're willing to go through a whole story of uh, Phantom Pain and uh, a whole story of Phantom Pain, then you buy Phantom Pain. If not, if you're just willing to try how the game is like for um, MGS you try I mean the best way you can do is really just try the uh, ground zeros because uh, I can show you it will give yep. you almost the same experience mm-hmm of course, the is is because it's uh not not saying the basically I mean there may be changes uh, you guys will know uh, when you play it but uh but it's basically the same as uh, same gameplay, same experience. You you get the thrill, the stealth, everything, snake and all that. You know. Mm. You just you you can expect it's basically the same thing, but just uh, a little different. You you will know when you play it. I can't, we can't tell you because the game has not released, and we <laughs> and we it's uh it's your own personal it's your own uh, personal preference. experience. Your own really, personal actually, experience. yeah, really your own personal experience. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. So that's why we can't expect uh you guys can't expect us uh much from us because uh, we are just giving our views right now and uh in this series what we're doing is just you know uh giving a throwback you know to what we uh to what uh how uh game works nowadays and how it's evolved and such and especially for series especially like MGS you know how how it has changed from like a two D perspective to now three D and now a open world type of game. I mean, like to go that far is really amazing for uh, for Konami. Yeah, you know? it's very very and amazing. To keep it up. Uh, I, mm. I hope they can keep it up. Uh, but uh, maybe they might not, because I mean, of course, the the story was all based on Kojima himself. So with him gone. Don't know whether Konami will continue. It may change, you know. You never know. Yeah, things may change. Yeah, things may change, you know. But uh, they'll probably. I mean, basically saying my opinion, uh, Konami's lost their biggest market right now uh, because Konami hasn't made a lot Mm -hmm. of good games. Uh, The best game they've ever had was the MGS series. So it's one for Konami. What? 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 Other notable. Konami games you you, That's the thing, you know. I don't know because the only Konami game that I know of is the MGS series uh, because I've only ever played the True. MGS series itself. Mm-hmm. You know, from Konami itself, from all Konami games. But I'm pretty sure there are games out there that probably I didn't realize it was a Konami game. Like, uh, let's see, uh, I think Dragon Ball Z, uh, Xenoverse, I think is a Konami game if I remember correctly. Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, yeah. Uh, no, 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 it's yeah. a good game, I mean, uh, not fantastic, I mean, uh, but it's a good game to relieve stress in a way, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but uh, if you want a really good game that makes you work and think, uh, the best game for you is always going to be MGS. Uh, but if, if MGS is gone and there's no other games left, uh, I would suggest playing Splinter Cell if you want something that will make you think you know uh, uh, yeah Splinter Cell back then uh, was yeah, really the good. old Splinter Cell series right now the, old, new, old Splinter Cell game. the new Splinter Cell games are a bit uh, how you say uh, linear very very linear mm-hmm. uh, other than that very um, very like straightforward yeah. you know like oh you have to do shit to go to shit and such you know mm-hmm. that's very true 
But uh, props to props to MGS for for making this far. For standing the test of time, uh, testing the test of time. Yep, 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 true. I mean, mm. and uh, uh, I okay, not, uh, not saying either. I mean, like for uh, fans out there, uh, I hope you guys uh, will get to enjoy the MGS series as much as I did. Uh, for as much as we did actually for 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 the for the previous installments and such, uh, but then uh, hopefully you guys are able to you know enjoy it when when you guys started or something. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Um, why don't we think yeah. about games that has really tested the test of time? Uh, I mean, you think about the MGS has been for so many years. You yeah, know, so four, MGS has been I like uh, has been around for like many many years and such. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of game can you really think of that has done that as well? Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, MGS so, has always had a following. Street Fighter had a following. Uh, like I said, DBZ also had a following for the games. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think uh, out of all, if you are to continue on like saying which of the series uh, was more successful. I would say the MGS series because mm. there's always a following and people will go buy their shit. And uh, yeah, people go basically people will go ballistic. Yeah, with it, you know, really like they're like, the oh my god, there's a new MGS game. Gamers out. would definitely play this game. The hardcore. You know? No, there's a yep, difference yep. between casual gamers and hardcore, uh, hardcore gamers and uh, if you're a hardcore gamer and you mm. never play MGS and what the hell is wrong with you you know really what the hell is wrong yep. with you if you, you know, can play like, games like for, if you really call yourself a hardcore gamer you really have to try uh, try every single game at least you know every single game the different experience and such and MGS it's is basically he has that he has a stealth feel he has the action feel he has the he really has that. Uh, uh, he is really a it's good an game to play. Game, very, and, very all you round. know, try it out. It's a very all-round game. It might you be. You know, he has every element. And uh, if I'm not wrong, also it has good story elements, right? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, very good story not, elements. Not just recently, I mean, like overall, overall. Very, very yeah, good story I mean, elements like, overall. I mean, if you look at the bosses and everything, also, uh. Mm -hmm. They have bosses that make you that breaks the fourth wall. They have bosses that really make you uh, think hundred uh, hundred steps ahead. You know, so yep, yep, um, yep. that's MGS for you. That's MGS. Yes, you you have to like uh each each time you play is I won't say it's the same experience, but it's. There's uh there's a difference and uh you know the the same boss whenever attack yeah. twice you know. I mean time. uh look uh, for the MJ series I mean the, the what was that boss name uh Psycho something I can't remember his name. He literally like the only way to beat him is if you swap your controller your PS one controller to your second port and then he won't be able to read your thing read your moves what you're doing. Oh, everything. You know, that's the yeah, only yeah. way to beat him. There's another boss that, you know, there's multiple ways the to beat one. the boss. Um, the mm -hmm. uh, what that old guy I can't remember his name. Uh, he's a great sniper. If you get his in his range, he's one shot kill for sure. And there's many ways you you can you can basically turn off your PS3 or something, and then you just wait for one week or so to come back, and the guy will be dead. Mm -hmm. Or if you notice oh, him yeah, very yeah. very early on in the game and you killed him early on in the game uh, you won't be able to f you won't have mm -hmm. to f uh, fight the boss in the later part of the game because that guy is dead he does the real time system yes yep. and if you want great bosses you gotta look at MGS MGS has done has uh, show you how bosses should be like you know basically Back then, yeah, I mean, like, uh, how how boss fight should be like, uh, should be should be played and such, and it was I I think nowadays boss fights are I I'm not saying they are, they're too easy, but like you, don't you really can see have a pattern, think, you know. You don't really have to think from the yeah. boss fight boss fights now. You know, uh, MGS has always done mm -hmm. something for you to make you think with the boss fights. Even fighting mm -hmm. against some someone mm -hmm. like Liquid also lot also you had to really think things through. You know, you, you can't really, even though it's just normal punching and kicking, but you have to really think things through, like, because the fighting is a bit slow. Uh, yep, true, true. 
Uh, MGS, like you cannot you expect too much fighting artists to be fighting fast. Each other for, yeah, too much artists uh, who are like mm. masters like judo or whatever. How you, how you see a judo match or how you see a wushu match kind of thing, you know. It's, yep, yep. It's not like a taekwondo match or anything, you know. They're not that fast. So you have to be smart and calculative mm -hmm. with every punch or every kick with the MGS series as well. Yep, yep. You cannot expect too much. You cannot expect. Uh, you cannot expect too much from the MGSC because they're like, it's uh, it's amazing. I have to admit. I have to. I to this now. I still say the MGSC is still amazing. Uh -huh. It's still amazing mm -hmm. games. Okay. Uh, there's no disappointment whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So uh, that's our view for MGS. Our throwback to the MGS series. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the um. Uh, you guys will enjoy the previous game or uh, uh, enjoy Phantom Pain that's coming out soon, and uh, and furthermore, uh, if you guys haven't tried MGS or anyway, just try it. I mean, like you won't uh for for gamers who like action and such, uh, it may be a little bit slow pace for you, but uh, you can you you will once you get a hang of it, it's actually quite good. It's a cool game. I mean, if you so if you're so, so used to Battlefield, this is this this game will be mm. completely different feeling for you. Yep. For sure. If you uh, but you need to be you need to be like open minded when you play this game. Very very open minded. Yep. So uh so this is where we sign off and see you guys later. See you Bye. guys. Bye bye.